comics you've seen so far. Did everyone have a good holiday? Did we have fun yesterday? All right, my legs are still a little sticky. We found some cellulite craters deep enough to do body shots out of, so <laughs> keep it weird in Eugene. Um, I, my name's Jamie, I came up from Eugene, and it's a weird place living down there. I feel like there's more dispensaries than people with jobs. <laughs> Everywhere I look, people aren't working. <laughs> it's just how it goes, but I've kind of turned into like a contradiction living down there, you know? Like, I, I have fake nails and lashes, but, like, I never shave my legs. <laughs> Just doesn't happen. Like, I'm never gonna get a Brazilian blowout, but I might get one on my bush, you know? <laughs> never a Brazilian wax, though. Way too much pain. No, absolutely not. Um, so a little bit about me. I am in my 30s, which is fun. Who here is in their 30s? Raise your hands. All right, not too high. I know it hurts. <laughs> But it's fun. I, I realize uh, now that I'm this age, if I hit a vape pen that's too hot, I will cough so hard I piss myself. <laughs> that has happened too many times. Sometimes when I get a new one, I just like go to the bathroom and test it out. I'm like, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to risk it. But uh, no, when you when you leave your 20s, there's a few things you're not allowed to do anymore. You're not allowed to donate your eggs anymore, and you're no longer allowed to be a sugar baby. But that's okay. My profile on Seeking Arrangements expired. And they were like, sorry, can't be a sugar baby. Here's some info on AARP. Goodbye. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway. Uh, but no, it's okay because I decided to become a sugar daddy. Give it up for that. I'm a sugar daddy. Thank you. Thank you. I am a sugar daddy to the feral cat that lives under my porch. <laughs> She is beautiful. I shower her in love. She's always got her hair and nails done. She's so pretty. I'm like, hey, girl, can I touch you today? <laughs> I'm like, no, that's okay. What if I just take some pictures to show to my friends? Is that okay? I'm like, just sit on my face. Or sit on my lap. Either one. You know, I'm like, come in for dinner. I have organic beef liver. You know, I'm just like, shit on my chest, I'll buy you a purse. <laughs> and that cat was like, dude, this bitch is crazy. I'm moving, <laughs> I'm moving down the block. I don't know about her, but um, anyway. I, uh, when I was younger, I used to play a lot of drinking games. Clap if you've played King's Cup. <laughs> my people. So when I was younger, it was my favorite thing to draw the card where you have to make a rule for your friends. And I always made everybody speak in a British accent because I loved Harry Potter and I graduated a virgin. <laughs> that was all, all my other friends' rules were like weird and obscure. And mine was like, you must speak like Professor McGonagall. <laughs> like that was entertaining for me. But one night I was playing this game and I got blacked out and I was down the road from my parents' house and I was like wandering home. But before I get too far into the story, uh, raise your hand if you've ever peed somewhere inappropriately when you were drunk. Anybody wanna share? Okay, where'd you pee? Uh, I peed in front of the Capitol in Salt Lake City. Oh, peed in front of the Capitol in Salt Lake City. They definitely don't want urine there. <laughs> they don't like anything down there anyway. They don't even let you drink down there. They probably really hate pee. Um, but no, I, uh, so I made it home to my parents' house, like blackout drunk, right? And instead of taking a left to the bathroom, I took a right to my parents' hamper. <laughs> and this was bad. This was like a horse after a race that wasn't peeing for a long time. It was just could not be stopped. So my poor mother is like inches away from me and wakes up and she's like, Jamie, Jamie, what are you doing? Hello, what are you doing? And I just stare off into space. I'm like, it's you that has to go on. <laughs> not me, not Hermione, you. And my poor mother's like, what the fuck? So she throws me in my chamber of secrets and locks the door. She's like, get out of here. And the next morning she's like, hey honey, how was your night? And I was like, oh my God, it was hilarious. You should have seen my friends trying to sound like Professor McGonagall. They could not do it. <laughs> it was pretty good though. I was like, how about you, mom? And she's like, oh, mine kind of sucked. I was, I was up all night doing laundry. And I was like, oh no, did one of the dogs have an accident? 
She was like, no, a fucking mogul pissed in my hamper, mate. So then I moved out. <laughs> I went to Hogwarts. I was like, bye, oh, here I go. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was rough. Um, I love being in Portland. It feels like a real city. Eugene's just like a town. <laughs> um, but everything here is so much better. It's so fun. Like, the strip clubs here are amazing. Oh, my God. All the strippers are so nice. They have, like, 401Ks, and they're, like, <laughs> vegan. And all these strip clubs are, like, certified vegan and gluten-free. Like, if a stripper's labia graces your face, you won't have a gluten outbreak. <laughs> Because they're all certified gluten-free with fair trade lingerie. <laughs> like, everything's so amazing. Like, in Eugene, the strippers don't have 401ks. They have four DUIs. <laughs> it's a different case. I don't go to the ones there, but um, in Vegas... Clap if you've been to a strip club in Vegas. <sighs> You're brave. <laughs> they don't even have them on the main strip. They're like, no, you gotta go out in the desert where you might lose a kidney or see an alien. Like... We don't know. Yeah, all the strippers in Vegas have four weapons. <laughs> That's what they have. They are prepared. But anyway, I was left unattended at a strip club for a moment, and I locked eyes with a stripper who was on stage, and all I could smell was Victoria's Secret bombshell and Camel Crush, you know? <laughs> and suddenly, the next thing I know, I'm on stage. I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to dance for me. This is so cool. And then they started ripping down my clothes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, this is not what I wanted. And then the best part was though, I had this old bra on because I was like, no, I'm spending so much money to get here. I'm literally not gonna buy new lingerie to go to a bachelor party. So I had this like old push-up bra I really wanted to wear, but it was too small. So I added two hair ties and slip knots. <laughs> so this thing was super tight and the strippers did not know that it was an over the head exit only. <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, they were back there like two little squirrels trying to pick a lock. Like, how do we, how do we get in here? But uh, anyway, I, uh, they lost and I won big in Vegas. So that's what happened. But my name's Jamie. You guys have been great. Give it up for your host, Jeremiah. <laughs>